Question, how do you reconcile, and I agree that our, our legislation... Is this a problem? Yeah, it is a problem. Well, and you are? I'm Carolyn Jackson with the ACLU, and I don't thank like you. adding thank the you. video. Thank you, Would you what please leave? Legislation. Is this a problem? Yeah, it is a problem. Well, and you are? I'm Carolyn Jackson with the ACLU, and I don't thank like you. having thank the you. video. Thank you, Would you what please leave? There's a couple of questions related to vouching. Uh, how does the vouching system work? If I vouch for 15 people in my precinct, what prevents those same 15 from being vouched for by my friend in, a, in the precinct next door? How are duplicate, uh, I gather, no duplicate voters uh, in voting, people voting in multiple locations? Plot. Well, first of all, we don't have any evidence that that is occurring. Secondly, yeah. there's plenty of evidence. Uh, Come on. Everyone who honest. is vouches for someone else must be a registered voter in the precinct in which they're vouching themselves and must know the person for whom they're vouching. And they also sign an oath that um, would, if they make a false statement about that, would subject them to prosecution for a felony. Now, a felony is a serious matter, and once you have a felony on your record, your life is changed. But how so are they caught? How are they caught if that happens on that voter on that day of the election? Well, um, things like that are, are looked into after the election, and there's a, a postal verification card sent, and... Um, <laughs> this week. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, think about the um, disincentive to do that. I mean, it's a very high price to pay to uh, do something like that and um, be prosecuted for it. Not okay. the average price. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing by certain rules here. I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to ask as many questions as we can. Um, you know, I, I've asked some questions that are clearly uh, challenging the league's position. We're not screening your questions out. So please, let's. Um, if you know, just if I, can just I would like to make a comment about vouching, same day registration. Uh, back in the year that uh, Wellstone was elected to the. Uh, United States Congress. I was a poll watcher in the uh, 10th Ward. And uh, during that time I was there from early afternoon till the polls closed. Um, I observed a person out in the front of the polling place wearing a very large plain green, uh, Wellstone green, uh, button. And uh, all through the day uh, vehicles would come in, some of them large vehicles, vans and the like, loaded with people, six, eight people would come out of these vans. Uh, these people were instructed to find the person with the green button, and that person would be their vouch person. That person would then come in with these folks that unloaded, and I'm speaking from my own, my own viewing of this. this, this is not some anecdote, and uh, that person would vouch for all those people to register on the spot and vote. Um, hundreds of people came through the polls that day that I saw, and it's a little difficult for me to think that that vouch person really knew that their names, really knew their addresses, where they lived, their age, whether they were legal voters, or anything else. system is um, our best uh, insurance that that um, is not happening. And if it is happening, then we have uh, prosecution, we have investigation and prosecution afterwards. And the other thing we have to remember is that we don't have any evidence that this is happening. If, if, um, if we did, that would be another issue. But um, there is a lot of fear mongering going on that is not uh, get worn out by documented investigations of prosecutions or convictions. How do you document something you don't have documented? Uh, um, <laughs> these questions here relate to what's called the PBC card. Um, the uh, 
postal verification card. Right. Um, it, it says, why didn't the video address the five to 10,000 postal verification cards that were undeliverable after the 2008 election? Um, well, I don't know that there were five or 10,000 postal verification cards that were undeliverable after the 2008 election to begin with, but here's what postal verification cards are for. After a person is registered, then a card is sent, uh, a non-portable card is sent to confirm an address. It does not confirm an identity of the person. Wouldn't voter ID uh, solve or control for the problem of a person going, a non-voter, a person who uh, doesn't have a right to vote, uh, going to vote um, uh, impersonating or, or, or giving a, a uh, voting in place of a person who has died? Uh, wouldn't voter ID prevent that? Well, we have the best prevention of that, which was that our databases are compared with each other and those people are removed. And so we don't have a database that, that's carrying a lot of people who are really not going to be voting anymore. And we take the, the, the system takes them out so that we don't have to worry about um, providing, having IDs for everyone eligible to vote. For, for, there's a better way to solve that problem and we're, we're doing it. Well, I don't know what state meets the nation in voter fraud prosecutions, and I would say that we have very few um, when you consider them as a percentage of the number of uh, voters. You know that almost 3 million people voted in the last presidential election. Create barriers for many uh, elig eligible voters to uh, vote. Secondly, it is unnecessary. Third, it's going to be very costly. And, all, and finally, it does not belong in our state's constitution. The um, legislation that the governor vetoed would have given Minnesota one of the most extreme and restrictive voting laws in the country. Not true. And his veto message included the comment that there was, um, this would cause very great uh, expense to local governments that it was not supported uh, by a bipartisan um, uh, group at all. It was a party line vote. Question, how do you reconcile, and I agree that our, our legislation a problem? Yeah, it is a problem. Well, and you are? I'm Carolyn Jackson with the ACLU, and I don't Thank like you. having Thank the you video. Thank you, Carolyn. Would you please leave?